Hi everyone, happy Sunday football day. Hope you're enjoying the amazing day with your family. So here in the Contreras home, what are we doing? We're watching football because my husband forces me to watch football every Sunday during football season. I'm not a big football gal, but I like to cook while he's watching football. And he likes to eat after he watches football. So hey, we make a great team. So today I wanted to come to you live uh, from RC's Cocina. I'm gonna make a really unique veggie dish today. Um, so as many of you know, I have been on a reset uh, for you in 2022. I started the reset on January, um, two weeks ago actually, this is our third week. And um, on January 3rd, I started a vegetarian and whole grain diet and I have cut out uh, meats, I have cut out fish, I have cut out sugars, anything white, breads, um, all things junk food, um, any juices. Uh, I, and I do this every January to reset my own body. I have found that it, it just does tremendous things for my, my body to recalibrate me and to detox and help me feel better. So today, I am actually making a really fun dish uh, it, this dish takes about 30 minutes to make, um, minus all the chopping and uh, prepping, but it's about 30 minutes uh, from farm to table, as they say. And I am making a citrus-based vegetarian grill that's gonna include a variety of vegetables. Because I'm going vegetarian, I'm using broccoli, I'm using yellow squash, green squash, I'm even using mango. So I like to cook with a lot of fruit um, and I find that grilling and cooking fruit using the juice is a really nice flavor. I'm using leek onion. Leek is a very good onion in terms of the richness of the flavor. I'm using red onion, bell pepper, my favorite portobello giant mushrooms, and green beans. So um, we'll get started. Uh, I'm gonna make this grill. So first thing you have to do when you make a grill is you have to have really nice grill pans. Today I am using my comal, which is a essential in the kitchen and my uh, my grill. This will give me a nice grill in case I, I didn't want to really use the outdoor grill today, so that's a nice substitute. So I have actually chopped and prepped all my vegetables. As you can see, you want to try to buy organic. I love to eat organic vegetables. Um, not everything will be available organic, depending on where you shop, unless it's Whole Foods. And I don't shop at Whole Foods, by the way. I shop at H-E-B. But um, most of my vegetables are fresh. You want to make sure you have a rich color in your vegetables so that you're dealing with lots of goodness for your body. So I have been heating my, my pan. You want to heat it really hot. The key is to hold your hand right above the pan. You don't want to put the vegetables on the pan until it's nice and hot. And it should begin to sizzle. Now I have been... Um, I have been eating vegetables, this is my third week, and I actually am incorporating grains into my diet and, and fruit. So it's a grain, a vegetable, and fruit diet. And uh, I highly recommend it um, if you love vegetables and you can get really creative. Uh, notice I am grilling mang the mango with it. Uh, fruit, again, is very nice. You could do grilled pineapple, you could do grilled apples, whatever you wanna use. I am using the grilled mango. Okay, so we are going to let our vegetables simmer on high heat, actually high grill, uh, in order for them to, um, you want to turn your grill all the way up to high heat, okay? And the reason for that is you want to make it nice and toasty. Okay, and then this, this grill is going to hold David's chicken because unfortunately, despite my attempt to make him do this diet with me, he refuses to. So today I'm gonna to make chicken. Now I have been marinating this chicken breast um, with citrus orange and citrus lemon. It's been marinating for about an hour and a half in the fridge. Simple sea salt and simple pepper. You don't wanna add anything else because you wanna keep low on that sodium. This is a nice fresh chicken breast. It's grilled get, uh, with marinade. I'm gonna keep my citrus marinade because I'm gonna pour it over as it cooks. Okay, so we're gonna top that and let that sit on about medium heat. And we've got our vegetables grilling. Now, these are gonna be citrus grilled vegetables. Now, I'm not gonna add my citrus until the vegetables are almost done. And the reason you wanna hold off on adding the citrus to the vegetables until the end 
is the citrus will burn the vegetables and then you'll end up with a big fire on your pan. Uh, especially lemon and orange. It tends to uh, spark a lot of flames. So we are going to actually spray a little bit of avocado oil. This is the best kind of oil you can cook with. Just a tiny bit, not too much. You want to keep it low on that oil. And then we are going to we are going to do a little sprinkle with sea salt. This keeps your veggies nice and healthy. You don't want any uh, other spices on there because you want to keep the sodium low. Believe it or not, if you put too many spices on your veggies, you will actually increase that sodium intake. So I like lots of pepper in mine. And then I am adding my, my chopped leeked onion. I cook a lot with leek. So leek onion is very rich in flavor, but it's not too strong. And it's, um, it gives it that nice rich flavor. I'm gonna put my fresh garlic, which I've chopped. Everything garlic in the Contreras home. Garlic is very good for your body. Now, a unique, um, a neat thing that I've done for these, this veggie grill is I actually am adding red beets. So I don't know if you all know this, but beets are really good. They're a super fruit. And actually, anytime you're competing or you're wanting to go that extra mile, if you're running or power walking, you can eat a bowl of beets and it'll give you a lot of energy. I have actually pre-cooked these beets because they're very hard. So you want to soften them in water for about 20 minutes. And they are pre-cooked. You don't want them too soft, though. You want to keep them nice and crisp. And we're going to just roast our beets with our citrus grill. So the, the super fruit, you've got the super fruit, the beet, you've got the mango, and you have all those amazing veggies ready to go. And I'm actually also going to add red onion. So red onion is another one of those super fruit um, uh, items very very good for you in terms of health wise um, and it actually is healthier than normal yellow onion so if you're cooking you want to cook with red onion okay now we are gonna just keep moving this veggie dish around we don't want it to burn but we do want it to high crisp we're gonna turn it up as high as we can we're gonna move it around our chicken is coming along nicely now notice it is on the comal, it does actually have a nice brown burn to it. I wanna show you a spice that I bought at HEB that I live by, black garlic spice. It is virtually non-existent with sodium, so it's, it's not, uh, there's no salt in it. And it's actually made of coffee beans and black garlic. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of black garlic on there. It is a little spicy, so you wanna go low on the black garlic. And then I'm gonna add, since my chicken has been cooking for about five minutes, I'm gonna add a little bit of the citrus juice and we're gonna cover it back up and let it sit. Okay, so I wanna show you um, also, um, today I actually made organic brown rice. So if you eat rice, you definitely wanna to try to avoid white rice and eat organic brown rice. I find brown rice is a lot healthier for you. I actually cook my uh, organic brown rice Using uh, a little bit of this organic chicken broth, I put a little bit of leek and a little bit of garlic, and I actually use a rice cooker. Um, and the reason you want to use the rice cooker is it'll cook a lot faster than on the stove, and it makes it nice and fluffy. Awesome. And today I also made, since I'm doing the veggie kick, and um, I can't eat any meat, I want to eat lots of vegetables so that I get full and don't end up snacking later. I made a roasted purple and red potato dish. Uh, now I pre-made these for the purposes of our show because they do take about an hour in the oven. But all I did, um, so with potatoes, a secret to potatoes, you wanna use purple, red, or sweet potatoes. You wanna try to stay away from the white potatoes. These are purple and red potatoes. I sprayed them with a little bit of olive oil, put them in the oven and did a little sea salt. And then I wanna show you the spice that I use that kinda of gives it a little bit of kick. This is just plain old ranch dip, and it actually only has about 50 grams of sodium in it. So um, instead of adding a bunch of salt to the potatoes, you wanna sprinkle it just with a little bit of this ranch dip. So these are done and ready, and we're gonna use them. Okay, so now that our veggie dish, now when you're cooking veggies, you wanna leave them crisp. You don't wanna overcook them because you, won't, you don't wanna cook all of the nutrients out of the vegetable. We're gonna go ahead and add our citrus. This is fun. So this is a, um, an orange and a lemon. 
that I squeezed, and this is where I'm going to add my citrus to the vegetables. This gives it an amazing flavor. I guarantee you when you start cooking with citrus, you will not go back to sauces again. You don't need any sauces in your food. Sauces tend to have a lot of sodium, so you want to stick to, to fruits and vegetables. See how beautiful that is? And we've got our chicken going. Nice and neat. And that is our citrus grilled vegetarian dish with a little bit of citrus chicken for David. I want to show you the final product. Come on over. So this is what our plate looks like for football day today. We've got David's grilled citrus chicken. We have our nice roasted citrus vegetables. Notice the dark char in the vegetable. We've got our roasted potatoes, our organic brown rice. So this is what we're doing today for football day. And um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay healthy, stay strong. Also join me tomorrow afternoon at 1230 Central. I am going on week three of my reset challenge. For those of you that have been joining, it is an amazing time to just reset ourselves. Tomorrow we'll be talking about redesigning you and redesigning in every area of your career, every, every area of your health, your life. And I hope you will join me tomorrow, 1230 p.m. for our reset. And uh, have a great football Sunday.